How you doing, mate? You know your Yeah, not bad. Nice yeah. conversations here. Perfect. For once. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what's your favourite memory of the Hive? Favourite memory of the Hive? All time. All time. Uh, probably Gateshead, promotion, winning season, getting onto the pitch. Okay. Uh, that was unbelievable. Marrow was unreal that day. The two goals, two, that was unbelievable. Best day I've from being there. Uh, Brentford in the cup was pretty special as well. It's real. The draw through all that was pretty special. But I'd say Gates said 2015. Definitely a very good day. Elation. Absolute elation. Nice. Um, what do you love most about match day? Actually, people. People, friends, bring your family. It's a family club. Uh, getting to see the likes of you guys, the engagement. I can bring anyone here and you players will come and engage with them. Yeah. Don't get that at Liverpool or no. any Premier League thing. So, you know, I bring various times in the year. I'm always bringing friends and family here. And if I go see you, Gaffar, you know, Skip, or, you know, it's all engaged with the players. You know, that's, that's the special thing about being you know, on yeah. it. Players, management team, uh, the committee, Carla, like that. It's just friends and family. I'd just love it for that. Grab a beer, grab a burger when it's selling, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Always important. Yeah. Always important. Always um, important. How long have you been going to the hype? So, so I've been a season ticket holder properly since the year I got married. It was 2018. Um, I've been coming to the hive reg regularly since yeah. I bought my first flat in Samuel Place, which was 2012. And then Underhill before then. Uh, properly committed to the barn and stuff, probably only in the last five, six years. Yeah. 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 Um, what's your favourite goal to have? Favourite goal to have in the current, current season or ever? Uh, we'll, we'll go ever. Ever, it's got to be that moment. The way that the way this crowd, I'm looking at the ground now, empty. Dan Sparks' goal against Brentford, that free kick, it was just I've never experienced anything like that. See, that was, I mean, the closest we've had to that was probably Ryan's goal, Boxing Day, mm -hmm. in the last minute. Um, just the, it's just the impact that the stadium just erupts and the way it was. Uh, but I'll definitely probably say Dan Sparks', Sparks is, is, yeah, you have to be three all again. Good goal, Brentford. Yeah. Very good goal. Very good. Uh, very similar question. What, what made you fall in love with Barnett? Uh, what made me fall in love with Barnett was the colours. Honestly, so I probably, I've, I've said this to Tony a few weeks ago, our chairman, I probably owe him a few hundred pounds. So I had the old Underhill ground, we were connected to a cricket club. It was Barnett Cricket Club and Underhill. And my dad used to play cricket, along with Clive Wilkinson, who was a, lo a long-standing fan. I used to sneak in behind the goal and then the, the slope and the orange seats. It made me fall in love with that. So I mean, it, 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 I mean, the hive in a way is easier for me in terms of my location. It suits me a lot better than almost actual where Ardley Hill does. But the memories are just the colour, the people. Uh, it's just the vibe. It's just, just got me hooked. Full, you know, good place. Nice. Um, and then finishing off, what's your favourite moment that I have this season? This season, everything. From where we've been, I, I'm not going to pinpoint it to one thing. Dean is obviously, listen, he's almost become like a personal friend now. Uh, to me and my family, uh, it's, it's the togetherness. You know, I've been privileged because of being a sports association and the committee, being a big sponsor, um, you know, getting going to training sessions, spending time with you guys as a lads, and I've never seen anything like it. You know, it's just, it's brilliant. It's like we've actually now, this season, I felt for the first time, probably since Darren Curry was here, we've got, we've got a club where there's players here that actually want to play for Barnet, and they're no longer doing us a favour. They're here because yeah. they want to play for us, they're playing for the fans, and the atmosphere, the whole surrounding with the players, the way the players are now engaging with the fans, you see at the end of the games, I haven't experienced that in a very long time. You know, with COVID, with the last two years, you know, finishing yeah. bottom two years ago, 18th last season. This season, the togetherness is just unreal. Like, you feel part of the rest. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I'm, okay, maybe it's different because I've got a little bit more luxury with you guys, but it's um, the togetherness. I haven't seen that anywhere. I've been part of cricket change rules, I've been part of count, and we'll change games. This is outstanding. Uh, this is actually outstanding. And for me, you know, I'll go on record and say it, whether we hit the playoffs or not, I think what we've achieved this season, it, any fan would have bitten in the hand up. Any fan. And that Milton Keynes game or the Peterborough game here, pre-season, if you'd offer any fan 60 plus points, better goal difference in the top 10 with a cup run, listen, they would have bitten the hand up. But no, listen, yeah, this year has been one of the best I've yeah. seen in a very, very long time. Very late. Thank you. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you.